What's up, Raft Gang? We're in a brand new theater. Imagine, Egan, the magic of movies, and more. Let's go check out some Transformers action. Hope it's good. All right, guys, we're in the Emacs screen from Imagine Theaters. It is definitely bigger than the monster screen I usually go to. I definitely like all the cool, <coughs> the cool Atmos speakers on the ceiling. And they also have subwoofers in the front up there. They have a subwoofer there. And then they have subwoofers back there in the corner. It's gonna sound pretty sweet in there. Nice seats. It's gonna be fun. Let's get it, Rex. What's up? <laughs> Let's go. What's up, Raft Gang? Just got out of the theater seeing Transformers Rise of the Beasts. What a kick, kick butt movie. I'm so glad they're back. Awesome. Had a lot of heart, crazy action, and you won't believe the ending. Stay for the after credits. Damn good movie. I'm glad they're back. I loved it. They all looked awesome. Go check it out. Transformers and theaters now. Go. What's up, guys? Just got back from seeing Transformers Rise of the Beasts, and it was absolutely awesome. I'm so glad Transformers are back, guys. It's so refreshing to see a good, good Transformers movie with all the action and all the awesome CG of the Transformers. They looked fantastic. Absolutely cool. So this is a this is a sequel to Bumblebee, basically. So you definitely want to check out Bumblebee because uh, this goes right from that, which is awesome. And uh, let me tell you guys, uh, great, great movie. Funny. It had great human elements and amazing Transformers elements. It, the the primals were awesome. The 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 Terracons were crazy, just mean. And of course, Unicron was just all impressive. I mean, just so huge. So cool. So kind of the gist of the story is there's like a, there's like a spark, like a, not, not an all spark, but it's like a, it's like a trans dimensional tool basically. So, um, the transformers or Unicron's basically wants this tool to be able to go to any kind of galaxy, any kind of world to devour plants, you know, to keep them fueled. That's what he wants. He's hungry. He just wants to eat planets. Right? So where this key is, is a, is a nice looking earth kind of a thing, right? It's a nice earth planet with the, with uh, Saturn rings around it, which is really cool, and that's where they show like uh, the 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 like the the Maximals before they come to Earth, like that's kind of where they lived, and uh, it was cool seeing uh, uh, Optimus Primal, his Optimus Primal, and then his his leader, like a bigger gorilla, which is he's like a silverback gorilla, he's just huge, right? I was like, man, that's awesome, and then of course you know they're trying they're trying to, to hide this piece and then Unicron's on its way and he sends his minion Scourge I think his name is or whatever and he's trying to get the thing so he can give it to Unicron and just eat planets so that's he's kind of like it's kind of like the Silver Surfer to, Gal to, to, to Galactus you know it's kind of cool oh man it's just oh my gosh this movie's so cool guys <laughs> let, me, let me talk about the theater first the theater is great imagine theaters in Egan awesome theater it was like the I forget the name of it, uh, EDX or something. It was like their premium, premium screen. Huge screen. It was curved. looked really nice. It was a digital projection, digital uh, projector. It was laser projector, something like that, because it was super clean. It was awesome. The sound was great, guys. Uh, the seats were comfortable. It was great. It didn't have the shakers like Dolby Cinema. I'm still waiting for the reclining seats to have some shake to it, just like the butt kickers. It's very important. Uh, but the sound was great. They had... Like Atmos speakers above with four subwoofers in the ceiling. I'm not sure what they have behind the screen. I'm sure it's awesome. But it sounded great. Picture is great. So it's double thumbs up for the theater. There was no issues with the sound at all. The center channel was perfect. All the dialogue was clear. Surround around me is great. The bass is great. Super happy. Unfortunately, it's about 35 to 40 minute drive from where I live. So it's like, oh. Anyway, <clears throat> back to the movie, guys. So if you've loved Transformers, you're in for a treat. If you didn't like Transformers because it was kind of like, ugh yucky mucky stuff with michael bay before this is a refreshing take if you enjoyed bumblebee you're gonna 1000 percent enjoy transformers rise of the beast which is great seeing optimus prime and his og kind of look which is great bumblebee was just fantastic uh, mirage was funny with pete davidson doing the voice uh 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 what's her name what's her name what's her name uh rc is it rc maybe is rc i think it's rc she was just gorgeous the way she walked was just so elegant and you know she's just so feminine but so strong at the same time she looked great um is there one more there's a couple there's a couple more transformers there's like uh they're they're in different countries 
there was a huge plane transport plane there was a like a bug Volkswagen van wheeljack maybe his name I don't know what his name was and that was pretty much it for transformers and then you have the the maximals you have you have Optimus Primal you have the the bird which is Michelle Yeoh's voice she had a great voice and she was cool you had the cheetah he was awesome um and you have this rhino dude rhinox rhino just rah, right big and strong mean mean but cool it's, it's a tank um i think that was i think that was it yeah so so no no the rat the rat's not there so no no no, no rat dude uh but man uh and then the the, the terracons you have the scourge dude you have the evil villain female transformer and then you have this like soldier right right hand man with him all tough mean evil tough just like decepticons but i think even eviler more ven more menacing right oh geez scourge let me, let me let me i got this video right here guys let me rewind to some some parts oh man this final trailer is really good but they really do a good job of mixing it up i mean they mix it up like stuff in the beginning stuff at the end it's all back and forth that scourge's vehicle form and you can see um right here on, on his on his front here all the symbols there those are all the symbols from when he kills uh, Autobots he takes their symbol or whatever he kills he takes them and puts them on his uh on his on his shoulders or chest or whatever Prime is amazing just awesome as PR call on his great voice see with Prime it's interesting now guys there might I mean my spoilers I mean there might be spoilers here guys the way I do in, in impressions and reactions out of a movie is I just I just talk about it guys if I'm just talking about it I don't want to hold back or anything it's just the prime he's he's not really want he doesn't really want to be on earth you know what i mean he only sent he only sent the autobots to earth if you watch bumblebee he only sent the autobots to earth to to, to hide or a, a safe waypoint and we figure out and how to save cybertron and all that from the decepticons so he wants to go back to cybertron so he really wants this little key to get him is him and his uh, autobots back home or back to cybertron because he feels guilty for sending them there so he's not really like let's save planet earth you know let's 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 help the humans he's you he wants to get off the hell off this planet he feels guilty for bringing everybody over there so i understand where he's coming from but he is just awesome now the best transformers since the first 100 percent agree with that 100 percent agree 100 percent agree guys oh the transformations in this movie are fantastic really slick just just super clean uh this dude here he's he's basically our sam wiki he's our man he's our main man he used to be in the military and he got out and just couldn't follow through or whatever so he's got good skills as an a, a, a electrician or with robotics or something he's got some kind of field and he, he he's wants to take care of his brother and his mom and stuff and he wants to do right uh, but he can't really get a job because the military background some things went wrong or whatever but he's still he's still a good guy but he feels like he's not good enough and stuff it's like, i really like his story now in this movie there might be a lot of human stuff in the beginning. You're like, oh man, this is all kinds of human stuff. Let me tell you guys, when you start seeing the Transformers, you don't care about the human story. You want them all together and it's, it's awesome. So don't worry about that. If, if it starts slow in the beginning, it doesn't. Don't worry about that. Uh, Cheetah's amazing. Bumblebee looks badass. Prime, Optimus Primal back there. And then that that Rhino dude back there. They're just, just fantastic. Oh my gosh. This dude right here. Ho, oh. oh, 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 oh. All right, so this is the, this is in the very beginning. This is that Earth-looking planet with the Saturn rings around it, and this is where Unicron's coming to devour it, and they got to get that that transwarp key out of there, right? So this is the leader of the of the planet. This dude is a beast. I mean, you thought Optimus Maximal, you know, Optimus Optimus Primal's big. This guy's bigger, and he stands there. He stands ready to fight, and those blades come out of his arm. It's just sick. He just puts his his arms down. Boom, shing, Shing. he's like grrr, he's ready he's he's just ready for it and then of course scourge comes down and, and... <sighs> r.i.p yeah it was not pretty but uh i commend this dude for standing back if you notice in the background guys that glowing blue stuff that's energon right that's energon in that planet that's what keeps them 
keeps them going, right? That's a very important resource. And of course, Unicron wants it. He's going to eat the planet. Uh, this is on this is on Earth here. We're talking about uh, there's a scene where they have to find the key that because the key is on Earth, of course, right, right? Because um, they fled the the, the the planet with the key and they they want to hide it on Earth to get away from Unicron and stuff. So that's a whole thing where they gotta infiltrate and try to find it and stay undercover and stuff, which is great. <sighs> oh my God, Unicron is just gigantic. See it on the biggest screen possible because you want to see Unicron come in there and like Burr. I'm gonna take you all out super cool to see him oh my gosh the one the one knock i have on unicron is if you've seen transformers the movie the animated one you know orson welles's voice right i want i want the i want the matrix of leadership you know what i mean talk slow deep voice just a massive presence this one i mean I think he might talk a little too fast and might say, oh, I'm hungry, I'm starving or something. Like, eh, it was just a little off. I mean, it wasn't bad. It wasn't terrible. It just was not Orson Welles's mannerisms, tone, delay of speech. It just wasn't as imposing as I'd hoped, but still good. I mean, it's still a damn awesome scene to see Unicron on, on film. So just a little bit knocked there. But, uh, you know, what's really interesting about this guy here is, you know, in the beginning, he, you know, he's like, oh, who are you? And, and, and get away from me. And because there's a whole thing with Mirage and he's getting away from the police. You've seen in the trailer. He's like, who are you? And he's ready to fight and stuff. And like, But he gets pulled into this, this whole war because, you know, he wants to save his brother. He wants to save his mom. He doesn't want his planet going, going to hell because Unicron's coming. So he actually wants to destroy it. But then... If he does that, then Optimus can't bring his people back. He can't go back home. So there's a little bit of conflict there. And it works out in the end. I mean, it's just a good, you know, it's good to see his story between wanting to destroy it and then wanting to save it kind of thing, you know. It's really cool. Good stuff there. Um, she, she is, um, she's like the sidekick, you know. She's the other human player, player in the movie. Uh, she does, um archaeological research of uh, artifacts and things like that and she happens to see a uh, like a statue or a figure of uh, a bird right uh michelle yo's character a razor beaker uh, very cool name but they've been here for hundreds and hundreds of years the, the the maximals right they've been on there for a long time so they've had sculptures that people make sculptures so you wanted to figure out what it was so she dug into it and it turns out that that was the encasing of a piece of that time warp crystal so she's like oh what is this you know she, oh man so that's where they meet up because he wants to get it and she's trying to analyze this thing and blah 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 so that's how they're tied together and that was a whole big action scene too so that takes him to peru because it's split the key is split right so one half is inside the statue where she found it in, in new york the other half is in Peru, um, and she figure out the symbols because she does research, and she figure out symbols and where it is, and brings them over uh, to Peru to find out the uh, the second half. Uh, and that's what brings them on that adventure. Uh, a lot of surprises in this. Oh my god! Oh, Bumblebee! Have you seen the trailer? It <laughs> Scourge <laughs> just jabs him through the the gut, the chest. And uh, Bumblebee, uh, he does, he does die. Bumblebee does die. Tears. And it was a, it was a sad moment. Uh, but of course, there is a way he comes back. And when he does, it is awesome. The music in this movie is great because it's set in the 90s, like in 94. So all the classic music is playing throughout the movie. And you'll recognize a lot of the songs. And the song that he comes out with is just perfect. And it's so badass to see him. I did not expect him to come out because there's so much war going on. And it's like, oh, Bumblebee's back. And he just comes and saves the day. It's just great. Definitely needed him back. Yeah, I love the dynamic between these two. Uh, Pete Davidson as the voice of Mirage is very funny and very cool, very hip. And these two get along real well, which is nice. Yeah, there's a lot of holy sh moments in this movie. It's just awesome. Oh man, so you got Prime here and you got Optimus Maximum, which is great. When they meet up, it's a really cool scene because he really 
looks up to Optimus. He's like he honors him and and uh, it's it's a, it's, it's an honor to meet him. And, and this really cool scene there. It's really really nice. I like that. Ten out of ten movie, of course. And I think it's RC. I think it's RC. Forgive me if I'm wrong. Uh, but that's a transformer. That's uh, I don't know. It's a wheeljack or whatnot. I think it is. But that's a cool moment there when the missile goes through the the van and she's shooting and she's chasing on the she's chasing the other just uh terracons yeah that's when the missile goes through and it's just a badass scene right there ah, she's just really cool animation with her love it great scenes great action the visuals are fantastic that's the other sidekick uh uh terracon in his vehicle form so he's got some cool effects there uh this is the transformer who is is, is that um that might be a, that's the transformer I, I forgot the name of it's not mirage Hmm. Maybe there's another Transformers. I might have missed him. But yeah, cool scene there. This part I don't remember seeing in the theater. Hmm. I'm not sure. Maybe they took that out or not. I'm not really sure about that one. Oh yeah, but the yeah. <laughs> These little uh, uh, spider-looking crazy miniature uh, Terracons are from Scourge. They come out of his back, and they do his bidding uh, when he needs to infiltrate a place that's a little bit smaller. Yeah, they're crazy. They're scary. They're they're fanatic and yeah, they'll get you. Yeah, great great transforming scenes. Yeah, that's the other that's the other uh Terracon there. That's the female. She's she's vicious, evil, very very vicious. Yeah. There there's Scourge. He's just a monster, man. He's got that blade that comes out of his arm. That's no joke, man. And his arm turns into a freaking cannon. He's basically infused with Unicron's uh, powers, so he's extra freaking invincible. Or he's just he's just terribly, terribly overpowered, and it's tough to beat him. It's awesome to see when he does go down. Love it. Yeah, this big scorpion-looking freaking things. That was crazy. Yeah, there's a sad moment right here in Peru. That's that's another part where I teared up. Yeah, I was not. Uh, not a happy moment there yeah the 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 heart and the uh, the emotional beats in this movie is well beyond any transformers movie that we've seen other than bumblebee bumblebee, bumblebee has some sad moments but this takes it to another level which i really appreciate and it just makes you feel good when you when you when you you can fill yourself with the emotions of what's on screen i love that that's why i love movies so much this is the transformers we've been waiting for 100 percent yes so if you've been in the dumps about transformers you're tired of them Go out and see this one because you really enjoy it. It's like, this is what Transformers should have been. Yeah, Mirage, he's, he's a funny dude. He's cool. Oh, I love Bumblebee. He doesn't have a real voice. He just has the robot or the uh, the, the the radio voice, right? So he finds tunes from, from or, or, or sound sound bites from movies or sound sound bites from TV shows or sound bites from radio. And he, he, talk, he communicates, communicates that way. But he's awesome. B is awesome. Love B. Uh, yep. And there's Prime. This little area right here. This this is this is like the first Transformers movie when Sam McWicky uh, meets all the Transformers for the first time. They all congregate here after Prime says, "Calling all Autobots," because that's when uh, the girl uh, finds half of the, the 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 time crystal thingamajigger, and it sends out a signal, a beacon, right? And only the only the Autobots or primals can see it. Humans can't see it, but it's a beam of light that goes in the sky. It's a, it's, it's like a beacon, right? So that's what says, oh, Prime sees that and says, okay, calling all this. Let's, we got to get it, right? Because there's the key. We finally have the key to get back home. Uh, as you can see in the other scenes. Yeah, this is the big plane. That's the big plane that transports him from New York to, to Peru. It's a big old, big old plane, big old transformer plane kind of busted and falling apart you know how it goes he's old <laughs> uh yep yep okay so since we're talking spoilers right there is one in credit scene which i i stayed for i don't know if there's two there might be a second one i don't know i left early uh excuse me one sec there's a spider on my series x got it sorry about that um so the first end credit scene i don't know if there's two there's only one that i stayed for this guy right here, I don't know if you recognize him from the Transformers movie before. But anyway, he's so our guy, our main, our main, main dude, Ramos, our main, main guy, 
He's got a suit and he goes for interviews. He wants to get a job. He wants to get a job, right? Because he failed in his first interview because they said, no, we don't want you because you have bad military history or whatever. So he goes for another interview with this guy here. And uh, <laughs> he's like, I know, I know what you've been through. I know you went to to another country and you had some 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 friends that you helped out and stuff like that. And so he's like, well, he's like, what, what's going on here? It's like, don't worry about it, kid. We know what's going on. We're gonna take care of your brother. We're gonna take care of your mom. We want you to work for us because there's a lot of stuff going on. We, we need we need we could use your help, right? We use your expertise. So basically, he's a part of a secret hidden organization behind this little fake office here and he gives them a business card right and he, he goes to the wall and he turns this little dial on the wall and it opens up and the dude looks over and he sees like a like a giant facility right it's just a base and you got some weird alien artifacts there and some other just vehicles and military looking place and everything he's like whoa and he looks at the card the business card and you wouldn't believe what it says you ready for this it says gi joe are you kidding me? G.I. Joe is in Transformers canon. It's a part of Transformers. We're going to have a G.I. Joe Transformers mix up or a collaboration or a movie together. That's insane. I don't know how they're going to do it, but I, <laughs> we've always thought about this happening. So it's going to happen. Hopefully this movie does well. Go see it. I want to see Transformers and G.I. Joe together. And this guy's a part of G.I. Joe. It's just insane. So that's, that's the post credit. <laughs> it's just awesome. Oh, hell yeah. So that's the right-hand man of the Terracons, and he's a just a terror, of, terror of monster dude, man. He's just a badass. He's got this chain. He whips out and grabs stuff and he whips it on you. He's just tough-looking dude. He's, he's awesome. Savage-looking man. Savage. Uh, so this is the, the beginning where uh, Ramos goes in that Porsche because he's basically trying to steal a car because that's his friend wants him to steal a car because he didn't get the interview and he needs money. So he's going to be like, oh, okay. I got to be a bad guy now. So to try to steal something, he doesn't want to do it. He wants to forget about it. He's a good guy. He doesn't want to be a thief. But unfortunately, the security guy sees him and, and Raj just takes off. He's like, wait, I'm not driving. I'm not driving. But he, he goes on a wild chase through the city and the police are chasing him. And Mirage does that little hologram thing and gets away. And that's what leads him into that warehouse where they see all the Transformers. And that's when, uh, he, you know, gets the plan and wants to help him out. The hell, man, Scourge. He is a monster. I love him. Just evil as hell, man. It's crazy powerful. You'll see in the very beginning what he does. And uh, you don't want to mess with this guy. He's on the he's on the hunt for that that key and he's doing, you know, Galvatron's bidding and he's he wants it bad. You know, do whatever it takes to get it. Amazing action scene at the end, guys. This is where they battle for the uh, for the key to stop it from sending Unicron into our atmosphere. Basically open up a portal for uh, Unicron had come down, so it's a huge battle. Lots of different little Scorpion Transformers and and the opt, opt, you know, Autobots and, and Maximals and Terracons are all fighting throughout this whole thing. And you have the humans trying to do their thing. Oh, it's just really cool. Just really cool ending battle scene. Uh, these little pods are sent from Unicron. And these pods in Kate are, have the little Scorpion minion robots inside them. And that's what Unicron sends down. Yeah, you'll see right. Yep. That's that's his friend right there, and that's when Unicron's coming. And that portal is opening it up. There's the portal right there, and Unicron sends those little minions to help out what's going on at the bottom to make sure that the portal opens up for him to enter. That's his buddy there. He's all about He's all about the licorice. And uh he yeah, he's 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 a thief, yeah. But uh, it was great, man. Just, just, just this movie is just awesome. So I highly recommend go seeing it, guys. I loved it. I hope it does well in the theaters because I want to see another one. And uh, it'd be crazy to see what G.I. Joe and Transformers can uh, do together. Now, we didn't... No, another thing. We did not see Decepticons at all. Unless that was a, a hidden second post credit scene, which I didn't stay for. Um, but yeah, no hint of Decepticons at all. They're on Cybertron. For all that we know right now. So no Megatron, no Galvatron, and no Decepticons in this one. So we hopefully the second one, we do get that. Anyway, guys, I loved it. Friggin' awesome. I'm so glad Transformers are back. And this is a great, great movie. And I loved it very much. It's awesome. Go see it. It's out tomorrow. Because when I saw it, it was for that fan event, a uh, special uh, fan preview screening. So I got that poster and that patch. 
this patch right here. Yep. So yeah, it was awesome. All right, guys, have a great day. Like, subscribe, share, and see the next one. Home Theater Rules. Raph out. Take it easy, guys. Next movie I go see, uh, I believe, is The Flash. All right, see you guys.